All right, everybody, Kurt Davis here with Real Estate Wealth Coaching. And again, next to me is Anthony Frank. Anthony, what's going on, buddy? What's going on, people? All right, so a couple weeks ago, Anthony started the renovation here on his first Burr Strategy property. Uh, in that video you watched, we were getting the renovation quote and things like that. So now that you've completed the project, how did everything go from start to finish? From start to finish, it moved along quicker than I had actually expected since uh, it wasn't a lot of rehab that needed to be done in it. It was really more of just a kind of facelift, as I called it. Um, just kind of a touch up on the outside, pressure washing. Uh, we had a few things we needed to take care of on the inside. but. It took about a little bit over 10 days, maybe like two weeks, and uh, it was pretty pretty quick turnaround. Now, how was it working with a, a contractor for the, for the first time on a project like this? Uh, the guys that I had came in, they were they were really responsive to uh, communications. Uh, I came, kind of came through and dropped through uh, a few times throughout the process of the rehab, and they were tentative, they were doing the work that they were supposed to be doing, so it kind of, it rolled pretty smoothly. Well, let's go inside and check this bad boy out. All right, so we're inside the house here. Now this is a three bedroom, one and a half bathroom home that is all hardwood floors except for in the kitchen area. Uh, as you can kind of see behind me, the interior paint looks a whole lot better. Uh, the house is cleaned out. Uh, Anthony, kind of take us through this. Yeah, so the hardwood floors, like you said, were already here. We just had to uh, clean them off and uh, put a good shine to them. They were in really great condition, so I was really happy about that. If you kind of take a look at the hallway area, you can see uh, they kind of put a little shine on the, the floors look great so um, I was so glad we were able to save those. We got the kitchen area right over here. Uh, we didn't do much to the kitchen uh, here with the floors. Uh, we kept the same floor that we in here. Uh, we put a new vinyl hood in. Uh, we kept the same stove. The stove was uh, practically brand new when we got this as well. Uh, we kept the same uh, cabinets because the cabinets were in great condition as well. We just kind of put some shine on them, cleaned them out. Uh, we did upgrade the uh, countertops here with this nice countertop here. It turned out really great. It matched the, the countertops, uh, it matched the cabinets and the flooring and everything. So I'm really glad the way the, the way that matched up. And this, you know, you got this nice, uh, got this nice little eat-in kitchen area over here. Uh, it could be a little formal dining area. I mean, heck, you know, they could use it as another alternate living room if they really wanted to, but. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, like Kurt said, it's a three bedroom, one and a half bath. It's a, a Jack and Jill type setup. I'll show you guys the bathroom here now. Uh, on the bathroom, we did try to cut down on the cost of the rehab, so we kept the same tile flooring that was already in there. Uh, but we did take this ugly wallpaper that was on there and scraped it off and uh, did a good paint job on that. Uh, we did keep the same vanity uh, that was there just to kind of cut down our rehab costs. We did have to replace both toilets, dinner hoods. Um, so just kind of walk through and you can kind of see how it turned out. It turned out really great. Uh, this is the, I guess the gym part of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is the master suite here. Uh, like I said, same floors. We did also, when we came in, there were two prong outlets. Uh, electrical outlets in the whole home, so we upgraded that to the three prong electrical outlets throughout the home. Um, did a nice paint job in here again, uh, closet. For, for the back part of the home, there was a huge uh, patio door here, but it was you know raggedy and, and it looked pretty, pretty bad. So we had that taken out and had the contract just put like a little custom uh, patio gate in here that turned out really nice. But if you come to the back of the patio now, it's turned out so much different than it was at first because it was trash everywhere. You you really couldn't even tell that it was a patio here. But now that it's been cleaned off and pressure washed, this makes for a nice little dining area on, on a good evening with some good weather with the family. So. The backyard's cleaned up a lot better too. A lot of debris, a lot of um, hedge, hedge bushes and stuff along, along the way that we had to get cleaned off. Um, a lot of trash and, and uh, dead trees over here that we had to get cleaned off as well. So would you say that your first burst strategy transaction uh, went as expected? 
it actually went better than expected um because everything kind of flowed along so smoothly the uh the material that you had in, in the course outline the videos that i went over and, and also just kind of communicating with you um it helped the transition so much smoother uh, smoother for me because you know i was one of those investors you know, I wanted to get it done, but I didn't know how and who to call and, you know, what, what things to get taken care of. And so uh, that's where the program helped me out a lot. Now, did you have any, was there, were there any unexpected hiccups throughout the project at all? Uh, it was not. Um, we did have a, a few rehab overrun items um, that need to be taken care of, like the HVAC unit. Um, so uh, I am going to be upgrading the HVAC unit uh, within uh, the next week. Um, but besides that, a few budgetary overruns that I, I guess come with the territory of being invested. Um, besides that, no. So as of right now, you are all in this project with your loan at fifty-five thousand, correct? Correct. With with the exception of a uh, probably let's just call it two three thousand that you'll have in cost overruns, which is not that uncommon. Right. Uh, and what we're actually at this house because we're waiting for the appraiser to right. show up because you're in the process of doing your refinance and he should be here momentarily yeah. assuming that everything goes like it's supposed to if you get your 80 to 85 thousand dollar value on this your refinance uh, should go off as expected is that correct yeah it should go off as expected it'll cover the uh repairs that i made it'll cover the really the total purchase of the loan which included the repairs in it and also the closing costs on the refinance that's right so at the end of the day you you should really only be out a couple grand out of pocket from your cost overruns right so rather than buying this house doing 20 percent down plus closing you're just a couple grand out of pocket doing creative financing correct Awesome. It's the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> it is the way to go. For real. That's how I buy my properties too. That's how you can buy your properties. So, man, well, listen, uh, I appreciate you uh, being part of the program, and it's exciting to see you do this first deal like we are. So, I know that there will be more in the future, and we'll. Just the beginning. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the next video.